Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Ads video tutorial. Today we are going to go through some responsive search ads best practices. So what do you need to do in order to create amazing responsive search ads in Google Ads? Before we go straight to the point, as usual, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. And off we go. So you all probably know that with responsive search ads, the system asks you to create an ad that has 15 different headlines and four different descriptions. And this is best practice number one. Don't be lazy and just create five or six headlines and, and two, let's say, description lines. Go ahead and fill in all the options, every single one of them. So 15 headlines and four description lines. Don't be lazy and forget to fill in all the options. This is best practice number one. So best practice number one, don't be lazy, basically. Best practice number two, when it comes to your headlines and your description lines, make sure that to include the keywords that are expected to trigger your ads. So when you are creating the responsive search ads, the system here under your headlines is going to include some keywords that are most likely going to trigger your ads to go live. These keywords, you need to somehow fit them in your headlines and your description lines. This is going to help you increase your quality score and their relevance in the eyes of the user. So the user types in whatever, let's say, you are bidding on, then the user sees a headline or a description that mentions this keyword. So what this is going to do is going to increase their relevance in the eyes of the user, and that's a second best practice. So always include the keywords that are likely to trigger your ad to go live in your headlines and descriptions. Not all of them, some of them. We are going to give another best practice a little bit later. Now, what is best practice number three? Never forget your display path. This is something that nine out of 10 Google Ads account managers actually do. And it really pisses me off sometimes. People forget to use the display path. Just it is here. Don't forget to use it. It will add context to your ad. So what is the display path? The display path is a fake path that is going to show up in your URL when your ads actually show up. So this is the final URL. This is where people are going to go when they click your ad. The display path is going to give additional context to your ad copy. So if let's say, for example, you are bidding on tennis shoes, create a display path that says slash tennis slash shoes. If you are bidding on accounting companies, create a display path that says accounting slash companies. It will help you to improve your quality score and it will also give additional context and make your ad more relevant in the eyes of the user. So don't forget the display path. The next best practice here is to make sure to use what we call camel casing. What is camel casing? In case you haven't seen a camel, first thing you need to come in Dubai. If you come in Dubai, drop me a note on LinkedIn, by the way, to meet for a coffee. And you can see many camels there in a lot of tours. Camels have, I don't know how it's called in English, but I think if you actually bring them into your mind, you are going to understand what we mean, right? So camel casing means the first letter of every word is going to be capitalized, right? So best holiday comes for kids, B-H-C-F-K. The first letter of every word is capitalized. Same thing for description lines. Use camel casing. Camel casing is a proven way to improve your click-through rate because it makes your ad copy more prominent. So never type ads that are basically following the normal capitalization as we write in English language. Always use camel casing. This is the ne next best practice for your responsive search ads. The next thing that you need to do, you have 15 headlines. Ideally, five of those should include keywords or phrases that are likely to trigger your ads to go live. Another five should include unique selling points. For example, we have the best practice, we have the best customer service, we have a promo, we have the best instructors. 
whatever is your unique selling point, and another five of them should include a call to action. Start your free trial. Shop now. Shop today. Visit our store today. So five headlines ideally should be relevant to the keywords. Five headlines should be relevant to unique selling points. Five headlines should be relevant to calls to action. That's another best practice that you can follow when it comes to responsive search ads. The last best practice, which is probably the most difficult one, is make sure that your, your headlines and your description lines are as unique as possible. So don't just repeat, for example, the same sentence in a slightly different way, but just try to make them as unique as possible. If you follow these best practices, then 99.9% your ad strength is going to be excellent. So you don't have to watch myself giving you basically these best practices. You can also rely on what Google says are the best practices. So what is Google telling you? How can you get an ad strength that is excellent? Add more headlines. Essentially, best practice number one, don't be lazy. Make sure you use all the available options with headlines and descriptions. Second thing, include popular keywords in your headlines. Best practice number two, make sure to include the keywords and phrases that are likely to trigger your ads in your copy. Make your headlines more unique, so don't be repetitive, and make your descriptions more unique. On top of that, remember a couple th or things that we brought up. Display path, always make use of it. Uh, five headlines relevant to your keywords, five headlines relevant to unique selling points, five headlines relevant to call to action, and also use camel case and capitalize the first letter of every word. That's the best practices for responsive search ads. I hope that you got a lot of ideas on how to create your responsive search ads better. All the best for your campaigns. Thank you for watching and have a great day in any time.